Hey everybody, so today we're going to be using Git and version control in VS Code. And I'm gonna assume you know the basics of Git for this, but we're gonna go over a bunch of commands and how you can utilize it. Make sure obviously you have Git installed. And if you don't, I have the link in the description for you that you can click and install this. We have an empty folder that we've created and we've done nothing with it. And we're initially going to initialize this folder to be utilized with Git. How are we going to do that? So there's a couple options. Number one, we would obviously have our terminal open and we can use control and backtick to open our terminal. And if you've never used any of these shortcuts, I have a link below to my last video that has all the, the top shortcuts that you would need in Visual Studio that will basically help you out here. And we could do git init and that would initialize our folder. But we're using Visual Studio Code. So we have this thing here, which is our source control and our version control. And if we click that and it's a completely empty folder, we have this initial repository here. So we can go ahead and click that instead of doing git init. And now it has initialized our repository. So if I ls-a, we see these folders that have been created in the background for version control. Now let's go ahead and click here and we're gonna go ahead and save a new fold, uh, a new file and we're gonna name it index.html. And now when we do that, we see this new folder, this new file is here. We see this U here for untrack. And if we were to do the same thing here to see the same thing in terminal, we would do git status. And we now see this file is here and it is showing that it's untracked. And so what we can do here is we can go ahead and add a message created index file, do this here, and now we click that and it adds that commit message for us. Now, if we were to add a change to this, we'll press that and we'll save it. This change now comes back with an M showing for modified. And if I go here and do git status again, we will see that it is modified. And if I do git log, it will show us all the past commits for an item. And you'll see here, I have the created index file commit message that we had here. And so what's cool about this is we'll save this. And let's go here into the body and we'll just sit, do an H1. And in this H1, we'll say, hello world. And we'll save that. And we come here and we can see our working tree where before, our file had nothing in it and now it shows everything that is possibly in there. And we can go ahead and stage that change for us. And we come back over here and we can close this file for the working tree. And once we're here, we can keep typing. And as you see here now, we have this green line that has popped up. This is showing that from our staged section, this is a new line that has come. And if I delete this, I now have this here showing that this has been deleted. And when I click on it, it shows me what the, what was deleted from that area. So I can go ahead and save that. And once I save it and I add this change, it is now in our stage changes. That thing, that line disappears and it shows that this is now the norm for us. So I hope this really helped you out in understanding that. And we can go here now and see get status and we have that modified. And if we want to, we have all these list of options here to pull, push, clone. You know, you have all the things with merging branches and rebasing your branch and you can sync it. You can add stage change. You can discard your changes. You can actually do your commit and stage your commit and you can commit all, or you can always come here to add a file. We would get add and add that file for the commit. Now, once we're ready to commit, we would git commit dash M and the name, let's say file added with changes. And so now when I do git status, we now see nothing to commit because it's already been committed. And the only thing left now would be to push and to sync our, uh, our repository with our GitHub. So I hope this helps out. I hope this completely changes the way you utilize Git version control in Visual Studio Code. And I hope this also explains what these Git commands are and to go over them again, the commands that we used. Git status is one of my favorites because it shows you exactly what's going on. 
you have our git init, which is to initialize our folder. And we're reinitializing now, git add, and we could do dash a to add everything. Or what I prefer is to add each file individually so that way I know exactly what is going in my commit. So we can git add, and then we can go ahead and do a git commit dash m, and then our commit message. And that allows everything for the commit to go, and then we would push and all that good stuff. So I really hope this helps out, and check out for my next tutorial where we're gonna start building a project, and we're gonna be utilizing these tools in there as well. And I could talk about this all day, but I really want you to check out my other videos. So check out my other videos, and I will see you on the next one.